compound interest. The Shah invests five thousand dollars into a partnership, paying him five point seven five percent compounded quarterly. What is the final amount after seven point five years, seven and a half years? Welcome to HDTVEDU.com, direct and simple education in seconds. So compound interest formula for interest paid n times per year is given by A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N, the whole thing to the power of NT. What is P? P is the principal. P is the principal. What is R? The interest rate. Make sure you put it into a decimal form. What is N? Number of times interest is compounded a year. If it is quarterly, n will be 4. Every 6 months, n will be 2. What is t? Number of years. What is a? The final amount. So compound interest formula for interest paid n times per year is given by a is equal to p times 1 plus r over n, the whole thing to the power of nt. So what is the principle that we have? 5,000. So P is 5,000. What is our interest? It is 5.75%. You have to convert that into a decimal, so you get 0 0.0575. You have to divide 5.75 by 100. So you get 0 0.0575. What is N? N is the number of times interest is compounded a year. We have quarterly. So how many quarters are there in a year? Four. What is T? T is the number of years, and that is given to us, 7.5, 7.5. What is A? The amount. So you substitute all the numbers that we have. P is 5,000. Here is R, 0.0575. N is 4. N is 4. So this is N, T. And what do we get? What is 4 times 7.5? 30. So it is 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0575 divided by 4, the whole thing to the power of 30, and that is 7,672.31. So what is P? 5,000. What is R? R is 5.75 converted to a decimal, it would be 0.0575. What is N? N is it's quarterly, so how many quarters are there in a year? Four. So you get four here. N times T becomes four times. T is the time in years. 7.5 years is what we have. So substitute all those numbers, and what do we get? 7,672.31. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.